Passover is the holiday of fours. Four children, four questions, four cups of wine. But actually there's a fifth cup, the cup of Elijah. Elijah's cup is the cup that we pour and we set on our table, inviting the prophet Elijah to come join our celebration. What does that cup mean? What does it represent? Who is Elijah? What message is Elijah bringing to our Passover experience? I'll leave those questions for you to ask your families and your friends at your own Passover seders. One thing to consider is that the cup of Elijah is set on the table to remind us that tomorrow doesn't need to look like today. Isn't that the Passover story? Yesterday we were slaves, today we are free. We have all these rituals around our Passover table that we do differently on this night than on any other night. In some ways, challenging us to create a future that's different than our past. For me, that is what this cup means. The problem is that we pour the cup and we invite someone else in to drink it. Metaphorically, symbolizing that we place our future out there and expect someone else to make it different. Maybe that's the message of Elijah's cup that tomorrow isn't gonna change if we're expecting someone else to come and make it better. Passover is about drastic and life-affirming changes. Don't just pour the cup, drink up.